You know how they say that big things come in small packages? Well, it was definitely true with Hervé Villachez. Most of us know him from his work on the 80s television series Fantasy Island. But there was so much more to this amazing and unique individual. Born with proportionate dwarfism, Hervé was raised in Paris, France. Growing up, Hervé was ridiculed and bullied because of his diminutive size. Fortunately, he was able to channel the challenges that he faced as a youth into something positive. In his case, it was not acting, but art. At age 16, Hervé entered art school, and less than two years later, he became the youngest artist ever to have his work displayed at the prestigious Museum of Paris. At age 21, he made the decision to move to the U.S., where he taught himself English by watching, of all things, television. Things did not immediately come easy for Hervé, but he did find incidental work as an artist, a painter, and a photographer. It was at this point that Hervé also began acting, first in live theater and then in film, where he had a number of small roles throughout the late 60s and early 70s. His big break in film came when he was cast in 1974's James Bond flick, The Man with the Golden Gun. Hervé was a scene stealer as evil henchman Nick Nack. Stars of that film say that he really threw himself into the role. He recognized the opportunity was a special one, and he did everything that he could to take advantage of it. Then in 1978, Fantasy Island came along, starring alongside Ricardo Montalban, Villa Chase, held his own against that iconic veteran actor. His phrase, the plane, the plane, is part of American pop culture even today. As the show became one of US television's most popular programs, Hervé became more famous than he could ever have imagined. Hervé never lost sight of his humble beginnings, and throughout the 70s and 80s, he frequently worked with child abuse victims. Because of his smaller stature, he identified with the children more than they ever could have imagined. It also made him less threatening to these young victims. Protecting the small and the helpless became a critical, I'll go ahead and say it, essential part of who Hervé Villachez was. Those who knew and witnessed Hervé in action were in constant awe of the way that he balanced compassion and caring for the victims while still channeling the appropriate amount of venom and anger at the perpetrators of these awful crimes. Despite his size, Hervé was a true hero in the eyes of those children that he interacted with. There's so much more to Hervé's life. We could talk about his efforts to be compensated more fairly on Fantasy Island, which ultimately led to his leaving the show early before it finished its run on ABC TV. We could also talk about the pain that Hervé felt on a daily basis due to the fact that his organs were normal sized and causing immense discomfort and pressure inside of his smaller body. There were other challenges that come along with fame as well. Some of them Hervé handled well, others he did not. In 1993, at age 50, Hervé made a decision to end his own life, and the world mourned. Fortunately, we have a lifetime of work from this talented man to lean back on, to reflect, and remember. The world is a better place because of people like Hervé Verlachez, and I like to think that it is his work that he will be remembered for. So that's it. You guys know the drill. I'd love to hear what you think. Let's talk more about Hervé in the comments section below. And while you're at it, if you could click on the thumbs up icon as well as the subscribe button, I would be grateful. That's how I know if I should make more videos like this one. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for